Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations, and I'm Nova. And if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If it's not your first time here, welcome back, my Nomi. It is so good to see you this morning. How are you guys doing today? Let me know down in the comment section what you said. I am doing pretty good. Um, well, I'm making it a good morning. You ever have those mornings where you just feel off when you wake up? Yeah, I think we all do. <laughs> but I just, I felt really off this morning. My back hurts again. And I was just like not feeling it. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to make myself a fancy coffee. So um, it's kind of, uh, the top has started to melt already. So it's not as pretty as it was, but I'm using my Fur Mama mug. And to show you what it looks like inside, I'm just going to bring you right up to it. <laughs> um, so I made a fancy little coffee to uh, brighten up my morning. Um, I have in here, um, salted caramel mocha coffee and gingerbread cookie dough creamer, which I just used the last of, and then, um, a maple whipped cream. And then I sprinkled some, some, some cinnamon over the top. Yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I wish I could share it with you. It is really, really good. Mm. Here, I'm giving you guys virtual cups. <clears throat> it is so good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so what I am working on today is I've got a little line of things and you may have seen this when I was showing you my coffee mug, actually. Um, I've been working on my little pocket gnomes that I was talking about yesterday and I've got some variations and I wanted to show you guys before I put them together, um, because these are ideas of things that you can do with any pattern really. But um, I'm specifically doing my pocket gnome pattern, and you'll notice that they look very different. Okay, so here are the two bodies that I've done. And this one I did um, just following my, my normal pocket gnome pattern that I made. And it looks like this. And I really like how that variegation came out, but you'll notice it's a lot smaller. Well, what I did was I used... I single stranded um, the green. Um, I love this yarn. And if you're interested in what these yarns are, um, check out yesterday's um, Whip Wednesday video. I went into detail over all the yarns that I used here. Um, I single stranded. And then when I got to my back loop only round, I went ahead and added in that double strand. And I used a 4.25 millimeter hook instead of a 3.5 millimeter hook, double stranded. And then when I got up to the decrease rounds, I went ahead and switched over um, back to one strand again. So it made a different shape. This sits super nicely. Also, I love the way the top of this looks or the bottom of this looks. Um, and then also it came out quite a bit bigger. So um, this one is done with a 3.5 millimeter hook and one strand. And then this one is a 4.25 and mostly double stranded. And the reason I didn't do the whole thing double stranded was actually just because I didn't want to use up too much of the green and white yarn in here because it comes in a variegated skein and um, I had to already do color controlling to get this much green out, but I didn't want to like use all of this color out of my um, skein because it doesn't have a whole lot more of this color in there. So I was like, you know what, this is a good way because you're not going to see the bottom, it sits on that and you're not going to see the top because the hat goes over it. So I thought that I would show you guys how those are looking um, because it just shows that you can make a little bit of modifications and like completely change the outcome of what you have. 
and I'm also changing up the hats. So for this little dude, let me focus you back on him. I made the um, pocket gnome hat, but I used a larger hook. So I used a, where did I put that hook? Oh, um, a 5.75 millimeter hook to make this hat instead of a 3.5 like I did for the rest of the gnome, which is how I did my um, other pocket gnome hats. So it came out, you know, looser and obviously for the um, amigurumi itself, you wouldn't want to use a hook this big because you would see stuffing through, but um, I'm not going to stuff the hat. So I was like, you know, this will make it kind of like an oversized hat. So here is like our oversized hat kind of look. And obviously keep in mind, there will be a beard and a nose also. And then for my other one, I actually have the hat from my um, regular gnome tutorial and I'll have the tutorial for the pocket gnome and for the regular gnome um, linked in the description. Um, but this is the hat that I show you guys how to make in my regular gnome tutorial, my super, super, or super duper beginner friendly uh, gnome tutorial where I walk you through every step and I have three videos um, going through every step. So. I went ahead and I made one of those and I'm thinking what I'm going to do because if I just put it right over the middle, it would be like this, which I mean, you could do it like that. Um, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to put it at an angle so that it does one of like these kind of numbers. And then I'm going to have my beard and my nose peeking out, kind of give you an idea, peeking out in the front. And I think that's going to be so cute. It's going to create really different looking gnomes um, with just a little bit of like changing things up. So I wanted to show you guys what I've got going on right now. Um, and then when I've got these all assembled, um, I will come back and I will also show you them with my just straight up pocket gnome, um, like without any modifications. Oh, and then I've got, um, as far as noses got, noses go. I've got one big nose because I had like a surplus of noses from when I was trying to like figure out the sizing on how I wanted to do my noses. Um, at this point I have this one larger nose left and I'm thinking I might use it on this green one but I'll have to see how it looks. Um, and then I'm either going to make a small nose or I'm thinking about trying a pom-pom as the nose for uh, the little pocket gnome size, like the normal pocket gnome size. Because ever since I made that um, pattern, I've I thought that the sizing for the nose would be perfect as a pom-pom, but I haven't actually tried it yet. So I'm thinking I might do a pom-pom nose for that one. So I will go ahead and get these assembled and come back and show you guys how these look and also show you them next to the normal pocket gnome without modifications. So you guys can see like the variety that you can do with just a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> okay, welcome back time travelers. It's been two seconds for you and a couple hours for me. I might have gotten a little carried away and I absolutely love what I came up with. So are you guys ready to see this? Oh, I don't even know where to start. It's so cute. I can't I can't pick where to start. Okay, so I will start with the one that you guys already know. So here is my pocket gnome and I have a tutorial for this. This is the pocket gnome as the tutorial um, makes it. So if you follow my tutorial exactly, this is what your pocket gnome will look like. And I'm going to show you guys some modifications that you can do. So moving on up in size, we will go with the next the next size which is the same size except for that I did the hat in a bigger hook and I made a little Grinchy boy <laughs> so I went ahead and I used a pom-pom for the nose focus you guys I used a pom-pom and I did a little green Grinchy kind of colored pom-pom and then I also used a sparkly tinsel pom-pom for the top of the hat 
So this is the one that I used the 5.75, I believe. I keep forgetting. Yes, 5.75 5 hook. Um, and then this is what it looks like normally if you use the three millimeter hook, which is the same size that you use for the rest of it. So completely different looks. And I love the way this can kind of gets like a little bit of a slouchy effect. I love it so much. So here are the regular gnomes. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with how that came out. I um, played around with some different colored noses with the pom poms and I was like, I could do a Grinch. So he's just got a little subtle Grinchiness to him. And then are you guys ready to see my big boy? Okay, so this is the one that I double stranded and then I used a big nose and I used the hat from my regular tutorial. And bum ba da ba. So there we go. <laughs> so there's the size differences. And then let me show you. Oh, I love it. So I went with like a Christmas tree kind of theme for him. He's got a tinsely kind of pom-pom on the top and a bow kind of giving me like Whoville vibes. I kind of went with like, I've got it like a little bit off centered and sort of like leaning a little bit. It reminds me of like how the Who's have their hair. <laughs> and then I put little tiny pom-poms on there as ornaments. And then I twisted together some of this Glint Eyelash. These are both from the Hobby Lobby clearance um, months ago. So these are no longer available, but you could use whatever you find that's like these. Um, this is the Glint Eyelash Yarn Bee, and it's in the color Kelly, um, which looks like this. And then this one is For the Moment Silver. So just to give you an idea, if you're looking for something like these, the for the moment is 100% polyester. There is 62 yards in here. It's a number six, super bulky, and it recommends a nine millimeter crochet hook. And that's what that looks like. And then this one is in the color Kelly. It is a seven or 65% polyester and 35% metallic polyester with 111 yards and is a number five bulky with an eight millimeter crochet hook recommendation. So this actually went on sale twice. I didn't even notice that. Apparently it was on sale for $5.49 at one point and then I got it on clearance for $1.74. I got this with absolutely no idea what I was gonna do with it. But if you're like me and you're on a budget, um, I like to clearance shop. And so when I found that Hobby Lobby clearance and I was actually so happy if you were here on my channel, I was like freaking excited through the roof. Um, I tried to get things that I thought I might want in the future. So I tried to get things that I might want for Halloween. I tried to get things that I might want for Christmas um, because things like this are expensive. This is normally a $6.99 skein of yarn. And, um, you know, it's just like a fun yarn. It's not like I wouldn't want to pay $7 um, for it on a normal basis because that adds up so quick. That's a lot of money, you know. Um, and same with this one. This one is normally a $6 skein, which like it's not that they're not worth it. It's just that I don't have unlimited money. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys some like creative options. Also, this was so fun. I really love how that came out. So just to remind you guys, if you're interested in making this, um, the hat is from my normal um, gnome tutorial. The nose is also, I believe, from my normal gnome tutorial. Or it might be, I might in my pocket gnome tutorial have an alternative option for a larger nose and that might be what this is. Um, like I said, I had, um, I had a surplus of random sized noses from when I was creating the patterns for my gnomes, um, trying to figure out what size noses I wanted and what style of nose. This is like a complete ball. Um, and then I think I ended up going with like, you don't have to finish it off into a ball cause you're not gonna see the back of it, but 
easy peasy it's in uh, my pocket gnome tutorial I think I have the larger nose option if you're interested then this one is just with a pom-pom as the nose and using a bigger hook size for the hat everything else is the same the beards are how I show how to do them in the uh, tutorial the bodies are like all the same stitch counts and everything I just double stranded and sized up my hook a little bit for that one and everything else is the same like the hat is the same and then this hat is the same from my other one so these are totally things that you guys can do if you're interested try to hold all of these at one time but here are my little Christmas gnomes here's the gang <laughs> ah, I love it I'll try to get some good pictures and insert those in here for you guys but I am going to go ahead and let you go. I hope you guys had fun with this. I literally sat here for like two hours working on these because I was just having so much fun uh, going in my stash and pulling things out and uh, playing with them. I pulled out a couple different things um, coming up with the ideas. I'm just so, I love it. Oh, by the way, um, these pom-poms, these little ones, um, came from the Dollar Tree. Um, these glint, or not glint, <laughs> these um, metallic-y ones also came from the Dollar Tree. And these bows came from the Dollar Tree. So they come in packs with like a whole bunch of them. All of those things come in packs with a whole bunch of them. So if you were interested in where I got those, go ahead and grab yourself some if you're wanting to. Um, and I will probably be playing around with those things more throughout the season, um, especially my 25 days of Christmas that's going to be coming up in December. Um, I plan on having a whole lot of crafty fun with my projects and putting pom-poms and sparklies and all the little bits and bobs. So um, I highly recommend getting some little fun things if you are interested in that kind of stuff and we can have a fun Christmas season. All right, guys, I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. One more day and then it is the weekend. Love you guys. Bye.